One, there are a particular doctor um, who is allegedly fake, has taken um, Kano's uh, blood sample 21 times. <laughs> but but I, I do not think my statement or speech on IPOP and Kano's um, issue is uh, there is no controversy around it as to what I said. My speech is very clear and very unambiguous. And I said there are some elements in the legal team or on the legal team of IPOP are manipulating information and using fake news, hate speech, and misinformation to advance their cause. Uh, you, you hear a lot of things every day, uh, new dimensions, new stories, exaggerations, special effects, and all of that. Casting storylines, skewing them to favor their sentiments and all of that. Uh, we have said before, I want to say it again, that except for issues of democratic accountability and respect to the populace, we wouldn't be joining issues with the IPOB or any group for that matter. It's a, a little sensitivity to public communication and respect for the entirety of Nigerians that will want to make um, the clarifications we have made. The one thing is outstanding. When you keep quiet in an issue, you have your own answer, or even the truth is obvious. People take the other side to be the truth. It is not always the same in all instances. And in the case of uh, IPOP, uh, some of the stories they are dishing out, uh, the most of the narratives are false. Uh, and that is my take on that. On Nigerians gathering, you, you also did not hear or see that the service went to um, disorganized persons, uh, low or high, who gathered in any place to meet. It is the right of Nigerians and the peak of uh, democratic uh, governance is freedom of association and freedom of speech and rule of law, and the DSS, as a great supporter for democracy, is very sensitive to those rights, and we accord citizens and everyone those obligations or those rights. But our emphasis and our take is that assemble as much as you want to assemble, speak as freely as you want to speak, but do not come against the law. There is no human right that is completely inelastic. Um, where one right stops, another starts. If, for instance, the law expresses that you are assemble, the law also expects that you do not assemble to engage in disorganizing the polity or causing mayhem or causing trouble of any kind. The law expresses that you can speak freely but the same law mandates you to apply restraint in your speech. The law expresses that you do not use your freedom of expression to malign, to denigrate, or um, cause division, or cause trouble or violence. Every war has started from unguarded speeches. And uh, that is why we encourage people in the exercise of your freedom of speech, please, Apply restraint, be conscious that your speech could ignite flames of uh, violence. So, um, we are interested in people coming together to bring about peace, peace in our country. We are interested in people promoting, using their positions to promote togetherness, unity, and not to exploit fault lines or use their highly placed positions to cause uh, trouble for the nation. The son of my DG, you said he's uh, campaigning for 
uh, unity of the north. That was also not what I heard. A journalist has also confronted me to say that he said he was supporting um, uh, peace in the north, not political togetherness. That is what I heard. I've not read what, what you read. I would have been asking you the source of your information. If you read it, uh, uh, show me a piece of that so that uh, if he also granted an interview, please make it available to me. But one thing is important. The son of my DG is a bona fide citizen of Nigeria. He's an adult, and uh, I know one comment he made. He said he should be judged as a Nigerian and that he should be detached from his father as a DGSS. And he said proudly that he's a Nigerian. And if he's a Nigerian, he therefore means that he's obligated to the rules, terms, conditions, and laws of the country. So I don't see where and why any person should create a problem out of the innocent boy's speeches or activities. Um, he has not breached the law to the best of my knowledge. He, he's a very respectful boy, as far as I know. Uh, he's a professional footballer who plays his trade in China, and uh, he, played, he had played for Nigeria. So such a person uh, should be allowed his space and be respected, and no person should, out of mischief, try to drag him into the activities of the service or his father.